In the forest grows one of the most amazing fungi for mental health. This incredible white puffy fungi is known as the brain boosting mushroom. Today, I'm going to do a deep dive on this fascinating medicinal mushroom whose cognitive enhancing powers were recognized and used for centuries in the Far East. And today, scientists are unlocking exactly why people have used it for so long. And I'm gonna show you what new research indicates about why you might want to be using this mushroom too. This is the lion's mane mushroom. A big reason why I'm interested in this mushroom is because of my grandmother. Now I'm her first grandchild, and yet dementia is slowly taking her memories to the point where I introduce myself every time I meet her. I'm, I'm Rob, your grandson. This is our family reunion to help celebrate her 70 year wedding anniversary to my grandfather. Anything that could help her or my parents or my kids, my wife and myself as we age is something I feel we need to explore. And this mushroom has shown huge potential helping with exactly this. Uh, have been shown to re-stimulate the reproduction of adult brain stem cells using these in clinical trials with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's patients, which is a big deal. This is a superfood right now. For background, this potent mushroom is sometimes known in the field as the brain boosting mushroom. And if I was in Japan, you could refer to it as Yamabushitake, which translates to the mountain priest mushroom, a name associated with the Yamabushi, a group of mountain dwelling ascetic hermits. And it links this mushroom to their spiritual practices. It also goes by these various names. Now, if you're like me, as a kid in middle America, you probably didn't grow up using this mushroom. If you know about it now, you have heard it boosts brain power found in all sorts of products. A claim I will admit as a scientist, I am always a little bit skeptical of. So I got myself some products, um, both as pills here and as a nootropic in Magic Mind. If you don't know what nootropics are, James from Magic Mind explained that. It basically is a term that just means a, a safe cognitive enhancing ingredient. Since I'm into increasing my cognitive ability, I decided to take them in various forms for an entire year. Now, before I reveal what I found, it's worth understanding both the traditional uses and then what modern science has to say about it. Let's start this journey back in Asia with traditional Chinese medicine. This type of medicine is more holistic in its approach to health and practitioners have used lion's mane for a long time for various things like digestion. It was believed to strengthen the stomach and spleen and help with general stomach discomfort, calming the spirit. It was believed to help with insomnia, palpitations, and anxiety. Anti-cancer. Lion's mane was used to treat tumors and was linked to anti-cancer treatments. Cognitive. It was also used by certain monks to focus and concentrate as they meditated. My science brain is always interested in teasing out those old historic claims. What is a placebo? What is not? And turns out new research is being directed at exactly those past claims. And this is what they found. First, they studied rodents. When rats were given lion's mane extract, one study showed that they had significantly less anxiety and depression-like behaviors than rats that received the placebo. A different study showed that rats with diabetic neuropathy, essentially nerves degenerating in the legs and feet, had improved nerve regeneration. Then they studied mice. The mice with the mushroom had significantly higher amounts of healthy gut bacteria. Another study showed protection against Alzheimer's in mice, meaning those mice had less brain damage and cognitive decline. And that is amazing news, but they're just studies on rodents, not people. I point this out because active research is indicating that there seems to be evidence of these past historic claims. But what is happening? Well, we think we know in part because of studies on petri dishes. Now, when two compounds in lion's mane, heracinones and arenacines, were added to cultured cells, they stimulated the synthesis of nerve growth factor. Nerve growth factor, as we understand it, helps enhance nerve regeneration and cognitive function. And that would seem to explain why I had so many amazing anecdotes from people I interviewed. Here's Amanita Dreamer. I found that it sped up my processing cognitively. I was able to find the right words that I needed when I needed them. I felt like I slept better. I felt smarter, able to problem solve. I just felt younger like I did in my 20s when I was in college. And here's Kara, a mushroom guide. 
I struggled through school and I struggled with ADD and focus and, and school was a really tough thing for me. And, and so I started taking it. Then while I was at the program, I started passing all my tests and people were like, Harry, you're not as nervous as all of us. Like, how can you keep your cool? And I'm like, it's, I guess it's these mushrooms. Like, do you guys want to try it too? I personally see a difference, less agitated. It also seems to be why it's mixed into nootropics like Magic Mind. But the reason that people take lines made in half for thousands of years is the cognitive boost. Um, it has neuroregenerative properties. So it will generate the growth of brain cells. And it also is known for immunity boost. I also noticed a big difference the first day I took Magic Mind. And this is incredible. I don't always feel this when I take uh, some sort of supplement. But I, it was a little bit like coffee, but it was more focused, alert, and smoother. I think my favorite ingredient in here is the lion's mane. Phenomenal mushroom. No other mushroom has that profile. Of note, Magic Mind is a blend of different things. Ashwagandha and matcha, and it has lion's mane in it. But when I just took lion's mane pills, it was more subtle but I also noticed a difference, and that's because I've been fasting from all supplements, so to speak, and then I took them intentionally the last couple of days, only lion's mane, big increase in cognitive ability. And that's why this next study, which is just on humans, is fascinating. A Japanese research team gave one group of people three grams of lion's mane extract daily for 12 weeks, and another a placebo pill. They found that the lion's mane group showed significant improvements in their memory, attention, and executive function. And that was the second study confirming the same results of that extract. And a different Japanese study showed significant improvements in anxiety and depression scores in women taking the mushroom extract. For myself, I was only taking one gram of lion's mane mushroom. That's about this much. Now, did I notice a difference? Actually, yes but it was very subtle. As an example, I have young kids and they're always bringing home colds from school, and yet I have not been sick in two years except for that one time with COVID and I was only sick for about four hours. And then I got better right away, which is amazing, which seems to indicate my immune system is doing amazing right now. And again, I'm just an N of one. I do feel much better with my mushroom supplements though, although I don't have the amazing case studies as other people in part because I just didn't have those ailments. But I will say I'm getting much fitter and that is the closest thing I have to an anecdote for my lifestyle changes. My hope is that studies of this mushroom get bigger and broader. It would be a whole lot easier for me to report on it. But there's a ton of research out out there right now and there are very few negative sides to taking this mushroom. So if you're new to all of this, maybe you can do what I did here, which is grow your own mushroom from a kit. It's incredibly easy. This is incredible. And I can tell you they taste amazing. Lion's mane. They have the texture of a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want to make it simple, Daily pills like this are easy to add into your daily routine. Or if you're new to all of this, I might recommend a nootropic like Magic Mind. There's a bunch of other things that add to your overall well-being and a flow state. And Ryan, who you might remember from the last video, just started using Magic Mind. And so I had to ask him what he thought of it. I mean, it gives you some energy boost for sure. But what I recognize is just like a lot, I'm very clear headed. I feel like there's good connections in my brain right now. The thought to word. Um, feels pretty seamless. And they've also been so kind as to sponsor this educational video, which is just allowing me to create more of these videos talking about compounds in nature like lion's mane and just doing a deep dive into what the science says so that you can be better informed. And that's a good thing. So if you want to try Magic Mind, I would encourage you to go to the links below. That definitely helps us out as well. And you can get a sample of Magic Mind and try it out for yourself. Thanks again to my patrons and maybe I will see you out in the woods one day.